On October 16, 2024, the new Dutch State Secretary for Defense, Gijs Tuinman, announced a significant update to the Netherlands helicopter procurement program in a letter to the House of Representatives. The revised plan now includes the purchase of 12 Airbus H225M Caracal helicopters, down from the initially planned 14 units. A contract signing is expected by November 2024, with the first deliveries anticipated by 2030, and the full fleet expected by 2032, two years behind schedule. This adjustment reflects budget constraints and the specific operational needs of the Netherlands Elite 300 Special Operations Squadron. While the reduction in units and delayed delivery will impact operational readiness, the customization of the Caracals to meet the unit's unique mission requirements is seen as a necessary compromise. The new Caracals will replace the aging fleet of Cougar helicopters, which have been in service since 1996. The shift comes as part of a broader modernization effort, but the reduced number of helicopters and extended timeline means that the Dutch defense will need to manage their operations with fewer resources during the transition. The first Caracals are expected to arrive by early 2030, and the full complement of 12 helicopters is projected to be operational by 2032. The H-225 M Caracal, originally introduced as the Eurocopter EC-725, is a medium-sized, twin-engine military helicopter developed by Airbus Helicopters. Initially designed for combat search and rescue, CSAR missions, special operations, and tactical transport, the helicopter has gained a reputation for versatility and reliability in numerous military forces worldwide, including France, Brazil, Malaysia, and Singapore. Powered by two Safra Makila 2A1 turboshaft engines, the Caracal can reach speeds of up to 324 km per hour and operate at altitudes of up to 6,095 meters, 20,000 feet. Its range, enhanced by additional fuel tanks, extends to approximately 1,200 km. With a payload capacity of 4,750 kilograms and the ability to transport up to 29 soldiers, the Caracal is well suited for a variety of mission profiles, including troop transport, medical evacuations, and underslung cargo operations. The Caracal features cutting-edge avionics, including a digital cockpit with multifunction displays, autopilot, and a digital map, which together enhance the helicopter's performance in challenging environments. The five-blade rotor design reduces vibration providing smoother, more stable flight characteristics. These features, combined with its adaptability, make the Caracal an ideal platform for the Netherlands Special Operations Forces. The 12 Caracals procured for the Dutch military will be customized to meet the specific needs of the 300 Special Operations Squadron. Israel's Elbit Systems will equip the helicopters with a proven self-protection suite, enhancing their survivability in hostile environments. L3 Harris, an American defense contractor, will supply advanced radio systems through the Foxtrot program, ensuring secure communications and better interoperability with allied forces. Additionally, a new mission computer, co-developed by Airbus helicopters in partnership with the Netherlands and Germany, will centralize data flow and improve real-time decision-making capabilities. The reduction in helicopter numbers from 14 to 12 reflects a tight budget of between 1 and 2.5 billion euros, which also accounts for higher-than-expected customization costs. These budgetary restrictions have influenced not only the number of units, but also the operational capacity of the 300 Special Operations Squadron. The original procurement plan envisioned the ability to conduct two long-term missions simultaneously. However, with the reduced fleet, the squadron will now be limited to one long-term mission, with the capacity for a second short-term mission only if necessary. The delay in delivery has also been attributed to the complexity of integrating the helicopter's numerous mission systems and the high demand for the Caracal on Airbus's production lines. The Ministry of Defense has indicated that further delays may occur, with possible extensions to the operational life of the Cougar helicopters to offset any future scheduling disruptions. With the preparatory phase now complete, the Dutch Ministry of Defense is expected to finalize its agreement with Airbus helicopters by November 2024. This deal will also include the implementation of next-generation simulators to enhance training for both pilots and operators. These simulators, to be introduced through a separate program starting next year, will increase training hours from 700, as currently seen with the Cougar fleet, to between 2,000-3,000 hours for the Caracal. While the revised program presents logistical and operational challenges, the procurement of 12 fully customized H-225M Caracal helicopters marks a significant step toward modernizing the Netherlands' rotary wing capabilities. Despite the reduced fleet size and delayed timeline, these helicopters will bring enhanced versatility, survivability, 
and operational efficiency to the country's special operations forces in the years to come.